Hello, I'm here to see Kevin Curry from Teddy's. Kevin? Uh, who's Kevin? Uh, this is like Cumberland Falls. Thank you for your friendship. You've done a great job with your life, Kevin. Kevin, life has never been the same since I've met you. God bless you. Strange, isn't it? Each man's life touches so many other lives. And oftentimes, they don't know the impact they have on someone else's life. Kevin, as we celebrate your 60th birthday, let's take a look back and see the impact you have had on so many people. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you for everything you do for not only our family, but for everybody else in the community. We're lucky to have you. Thank you for your love and your, your kindness, man. You've really been extremely kind to me and my family. First time I met Kevin. Uh, first time I met Kevin, he was buying a house for one of his employees. Yep, that was the first time. Second time, second time I met Kevin, he was buying a house for one of his employees. That was the second time. I didn't know Kevin very well in high school due to being in different shops and classes. But our paths crossed 23 years ago when my company was looking to bring on test sites for evaluating and developing quality products for the petroleum industry. As you probably already know, Kevin is a strong believer in if it's free, it's for me, and welcomed my company with open arms. Over the years working with you is a pleasure. You're always so good to your customers and your stations. Happy birthday. And like I always say, ride it like you stole it and enjoy the ride. I love you, man. You're awesome. You do great things for people, and I'm really proud and honored to be one of your best friends. Happy birthday, Kevin. We wish you all the best. Thank you. He's just an all-around great guy uh, from a great family. And uh, happy birthday. And listen, everybody, if you ever want to have a good time, go to Ireland with the Currys. It's a blast. I really think exemplifies Kevin. In today's day and age, he shows that a business can be successful while still giving back to the community. We've known you and Patty for many years. Oh my goodness, too many years. No, not too many. <laughs> and we appreciate you, the times that you've been for us when we needed you and always enjoyed your company. Happy birthday, enjoy the day. And my experience with him was is just an amazing experience. Uh, we became friends. Uh, I'm sure we'll be friends to the day we die. And this bond that we had helping this little girl win this race was just amazing. And for that, Kevin, happy birthday, man. You my bro. I appreciate you in all kinds of ways. And uh, you made a difference in my life, my daughter's life, my deceased wife's life, because uh, we experienced an unbelievable moment with Catherine winning that race. I've always been impressed by how Kevin truly, truly lives up to Rotary's motto of service above self, um, by how he uh, always thinks about others, always thinks about how to help other people, and how to help them to help themselves, and enjoy the party. Thank you for everything you've done for our community, you continue to do for our community. I know Meriden is headed in the right direction when we have people like you believing in us, investing in us, and working together with us. Happy birthday. A big year this year, 60. Um, listen, you, you continue to shine and um, you make the community around you better. Proud to know you, proud of uh, all you've done and all you do for others. Uh, Marissa and I wish you a very happy 60th birthday. Kevin, like I said, is the most selfless person I know. Uh, gives without expecting anything back in return. Wonderful friend. And uh, Kevin, all I gotta say is happy 60th birthday to you. Hey Kevin, just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. While you are up there celebrating your 60th, I am down in sunny Florida. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. Thanks for being a great Gulf customer. We love ya. I am so thankful for everything you've done for me and my family, how much you've changed our lives. Happy birthday, love you. Happy birthday. 
I first met Kevin when I was with Hometown Foundation. He was a huge supporter of every program that we had, including our turkey program. He donated so much to our canine program and where so many law enforcement agencies across Connecticut and beyond have benefited from. Okay, this is Kevin Curry. I'm here with Tal and Tails. And we're doing a fundraiser for the Hometown Foundation and Talon Tales to get some rescue police dogs. And you always got to take one for the team, whatever it takes to get the job done. So today, unfortunately, or fortunately, I was selected to be the dog bite. We all wanted to wish you a very happy birthday and hope you have the best 60th. You deserve all the celebrations and all the good things that will come to you. I always liked the compliment people gave that said I looked like my mom, but I talked like my dad. So I thought, <laughs> it was so silly. <laughs> um, and I think that definitely translates into why I went into my uh, career in healthcare. Um, always wanting to help people like my dad. Um, and also for all the work he did through the community and what I saw him doing um, growing up and how involved he was in everyone's life. and how he really just wanted to help people. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Look, kiss. We love you, Ambi. Happy birthday. Hi, I'm Teddy. I'm Patty, so well, also Kevin's, I guess. Kevin changed my life by giving me a brand of gas stations. Love you, Dad. Happy birthday, Kevin. We love you. Happy, happy, happy 60th. Mwah. Hi Kevin, happy birthday to you in in in, in my language, Shubha John Modin. Happy birthday, Daddy. This is gonna be your year. We love you in all in all. Thank you for everything done. Um, here's 60 years and 60 more, hopefully. <laughs> love you. Happy ya. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Kevin, happy birthday. With all that money that you can buy all that beer for your customers, how about a case for me? <laughs> Happy birthday, Kevin. Just want to make sure we wish you a very happy birthday and many more to come. Hey, Kevin. Happy birthday, brother. We want to thank you very much for this pump, that this antique pump that we have. Thank you. Happy birthday, Kevin. To get involved with a hardworking, straightforward, no bullshit, get it done family man who truly cares about others is rare in this day and age. Hey, Kevin. Happy 60th birthday, buddy. I'm so proud of you. I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me. Ever since I came over this petroleum world six years ago, you're a very good guy, Kevin. You've got a great family. I'm very envious. So this is your special day. You deserve it. Um, look forward to seeing you. Happy 60th, buddy. As a friend, he's the first one to offer help in any way. He's the first to offer advice, whether you want it or not. Again, I am fortunate to consider Kevin my friend. Good luck to you and your family. Happy 60th birthday, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, just want to say happy birthday. I've known Kevin since we were teenagers and first got into the automotive field. Uh, he's been a great inspiration to all of us in the automotive business. We watched our kids grow through Soapbox Derby and now get a chance to watch our grandkids grow together. We're 60 years old, happy birthday but it comes with a lot of good memories. Looking back at us being in Wilcox together, Kevin, you've helped myself the, uh, beat the street, our organization that we run here at Meriden in so many different ways. You've given the kids here in Meriden opportunities to grow and to be able to aspire towards the goals that they've wanted to get to in the future. And the thing is, we've seen that happen together as friends. Kevin, I, I, I like to say I knew you were a genuine person when, but there's just so many examples, so many examples from back to our Soapbox Derby days when um, we cheated for all the right reasons to what you did for my daughter back in those days to what you did for Catherine McVeigh, um, all the way up to today. The things that you do for people, of our 72 phone calls every day, maybe, 
maybe five of them are about work and the rest of them are just simply about other people talking about things that you just love to do and you're genuine because you love to do these things Kevin you don't do this for for any recognition for yourself you do this for your own self you do this for a rise for yourself and I'm just so proud to call you my friend I'm proud that I'm the one that gets to spend besides Patty of course gets to spend this time with you every day and Kevin you've always done things not for the glory, not for the right to say, yes, I accomplished this, or I did this, or I did that. It was always about doing what's right and connecting the right people to the right people to accomplish the right thing for the community. And I, I've learned that from you, and, I, I, and I'll take that for the test of time. And I really do want to say thank you. I'm so proud of all the things you've accomplished over the years. Uh, you've been a very influential person in my life and uh, I can't be more grateful. And uh, you're like a second father to me and words can't explain that uh, my gratitude towards you and your family has been nothing but amazing. The one thing that, that's always amazed me is your generosity and your ability to get things done. Uh, and you probably don't even realize what you've done for a lot of people. Uh, things that uh, the average person, first of all, probably wouldn't even think of and would not take the time or make the effort to get these things accomplished. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, it probably would take the rest of the night to list all of the good things you've done uh, for this community. And, and I'm sure that there's a lot of appreciation out there that you probably don't even realize. You've always been a good friend, always been willing to give you the shirt off of your back. And if you ever needed anything, if I ever needed to call somebody to ask for something, I would call you. And 90% of the time you would come through in flying colors. I want to thank you for the impact you have had on my life and my family's life. You have been there by our side throughout the good times and the tough times. You were my first employer, and you're still the only person in America who drove a tow truck barefoot. I want to thank you again for all you've done for me. Heck, without you, I wouldn't have had the nickname Gas Pumper. Happy birthday, buddy. But I will tell you, there's not too many men that can be totally comfortable in their tidy whities walking around the house when total strangers, and I was one of them at the time, had to walk into your house to drop stuff off. Kevin, you are my best friend, and I, I hope you know that because we, we've been together and done so many things together, and you know, anytime you ever need anything, I'm there to help you, and you're always there to help me. You, you don't have friends that do stuff like we do for each other all the time, and uh, I, I hope you have more friends like me that I don't even know about that are, are there to help you all the time like I am. Senior year in high school, he asked me to go to a party at Mr. D's. We get there. You ask me to play cards, I don't play cards. Kevin, I don't play cards, you play the cards. At the end of the night, you say to me, Anthony, you lost, you owe me $70. I was like, Kevin, how do I owe you $70 when I didn't play the cards? You played the cards. Yeah, but you lost. You gotta love them. Eventually, I paid the $70, but you know, kind of hoping maybe tonight's the night I get it back. How much do you need? Hey! I got $2,000. Kevin bounced into our lives when we were pretty much at rock bottom. My daughter, Catherine, was 11. She had cancer, and all she wanted to do was race her soapbox derby car. When the universe was against us, Kevin, you made our life better. Derek Fitzgerald called me and said, we're going on a trip. And boy, I never, ever had an appreciation of what that would mean. From that first morning I met you at the hotel, we became friends and I knew lives would change. That day, as Catherine entered the derby race, Kevin made sure that my Catherine got a movie worthy welcome. She could only smile and that meant the world to me. So in honor of my Catherine, who was an amazing poet, I wrote this for you. My dear friend, happy birthday. 
I may not write great poems, but have a few words to say. Your birthday reminds me to tell you that I'm thankful for you every day. I can remember with details the times we'd hang out. You'd be drumming up schemes that would lead to laughter, no doubt. Isn't it funny how someone so special doesn't realize how special they are? They are thoughtful without thinking and always near, even when far. They share not expecting a thing in return, but they teach us about living at every sharp turn. Many memories were made through the years. Lots of good times remembered and sometimes even tears. Now many years have passed and I guess this poem is nearing the end. So it's with much love that I write this poem to a dear lifetime friend. Happy birthday, Kevin. I hope you have the perfect day. Cheers. To the birthday boy, Kevin. The richest man in town. Happy birthday, Dad. Love you. Happy birthday. If Kevin calls you a friend, you are family. Happy birthday. Again, Kevin, happy birthday, and may God bless you. I hope you love this. I hope this is all awesome for you. Happy 60th, and here's to another 60. Happy birthday, Kevin. Love your third son, Dan. Hope you have uh, the long life. Bless you. Happy to share this birthday with you. Be good. Happy birthday. Happy 60th birthday, Kevin. Peace and blessings on your 60th birthday. Bye-bye.